Hello and welcome to part two of what good influence looks like when selecting the right influencers for your brand. In part one, we delved into the importance of planning. In this video, we'll guide you through the steps of recruiting and choosing your influencer team. This process broadly falls into two stages, influence matching and vetting, which encompasses brand safety and influencer impact. So let's start with influence matching. There are three key areas to consider. One, content style. Content style is about the look and feel. Whether it's earthy, edgy, polished, or another aesthetic, it helps align brands with creators who have a similar vibe. The optimization of content style is particularly important when you're amplifying content beyond a creator's audience. It should represent your brand well for superior performance and engagement. Two, create a niche. Create a niche refers to the specific area of expertise or interest that the creator focuses on in their content food, health and wellness, budget saving hacks, and more. Matching a creator's niche to your brand can lead to more authentic and natural content. And when a creator genuinely resonates with your product or service, their content tends to be more engaging to their audience as well. Three, influence typology. Typologies relate to the tone and style of the creator. They can be educational, entertaining, and so on. For instance, if your campaign aims to provide detailed information about a product's unique selling points, it's well suited to a creator with an educational style. On the other hand, a new product launch might benefit from a trailblazing style of influence. So now that you've found the right type of influencers, it's time to vet them to ensure maximum impact and brand safety. To do this effectively, you need to be clear on what data you are using for your analysis and how you'll be accessing this. It's really important to use first party data to ensure accuracy and timeliness of the information you're using to make your decisions. The ability to access this is where your technology partners come into play. Vetting is a milestone in an influence program defined by rigor. So let's start. Demographics. Critically examine the influencer's audience. Does it have a significant percentage of an Australian audience? And does this audience align with your target audience? It's really important to ensure alignment. Next, brand safety. Take a closer look at the influencer's past posts and the overall tone of their theme. Perform due diligence to ensure the influencer aligns with your brand values and represents it effectively. Next, audience quality. Pay attention to markers like engagement and growth rate. Be on the lookout for fake followers and fake accounts. Interrogate the quality of the influencer's stats, as a poor quality audience can lead to lower results, reduced impact and increased costs. And lastly, commercial content ratio and performance. Working with an influencer only succeeds when it feels authentic and as if the influencer would genuinely use and recommend your product. If the influencer is doing paid partnerships every other post, you risk losing the chance to cut through the noise and it may come off as transactional and inauthentic. Now, if you are gonna be working with influencers consistently, it's a good idea to create a tagging system that can provide you with a shortcut when looking for the right partners. Influencer vetting and matching does take time, but it's worth the investment. They are your channel and you need to ensure they're a good representation of your brand and deliver ROI. 